I'm going to show you how to create a brand identity in just a few minutes using creative AI workflow tools. In this video, you'll learn exactly how to use creative AI workflow tools to generate incredibly high quality design and brand identities in just a few minutes with a single AI automation. And this is not NAN, this is a new category of creative automation tools that are going to change the way we design in 2026. If you don't know me, my name is Chris and for the last 15 years I've been designing apps and advising startups on product and design. And with that said, let's get into this full brand identity automation. Build great products. Build great products. So if you haven't heard about or you've never seen a creative AI automation tool before, what you're going to think when you look at this is if you're familiar with something like NAN or Make is that you're connecting all these nodes together to basically make like an automation happen. And what we've got here is this $10,000 AI brand identity kind of generator automation setup. And instead of NAN where it's more technical and it's more for like workflow and process automation, Tools like Crea Nodes, which is the one that I'm going to be showing you here today, is more of a creative AI automation tool. So you can hook up all of these creative nodes together, like image generation, video generation, and you can do that in tools like NAN, but this is a specific tool specifically for creatives, designers, people starting businesses, even if you're not creative, this is a great tool to use to be able to generate creative assets in one go from an automation without having to do every single step yourself manually. And I'm gonna show you exactly how this AI branding automation workflow actually works here. And we're just gonna use a single brand reference image and a single description of a company to generate an entire set of assets for a complete brand identity and brand strategy. I'm going to show you Crea Nodes like briefly first here as well. So Crea Nodes is this node-based automation tool for creatives basically, where you can do things like upscaling, um, image captioning, video generator, image generator. We'll start with an empty workflow and you see you can add all of these different nodes onto the canvas. Like we've got a Nano Banana Pro node here, which I'm going to be using in the workflow automation. You've also got things like remove background nodes and you can connect all of these things up here so I can generate an image in Nano Banana Pro. Click run this workflow and put in a prompt here to generate an image and then have it remove the background for that image and that will do it automatically. So what we've got here is we've set up an entire brand identity automation that we're going to run through. And all we're going to do here, I'm going to show you how to do this super quickly, so this is not even going to be a very long video, I don't think, is we're going to find a single brand reference image. So it starts over here. Let me break down the workflow quickly before we actually do it. So we start with a brand reference image and a company name or description, and then it goes through these different sections. So it goes through strategy, website, and design system generating here that you can use. We generate a color palette down here. We're going to generate our logo and animate that logo over here and remove the background and also create it in black and white. So we've got both colors. And we're also going to generate some iconography here as well and then animate that iconography. And we're going to create some photography guidelines and we're going to generate some photos and then and then create videos from those photos as well, all with this one automation. And these are all hooked together so that basically the brand strategy uh, generator, which is here, will inform all of these other nodes across the automation. So it's gonna inform what the logo looks like, it will inform what the photography and the iconography looks like, and it also informs what the color palette looks like. And then this color palette image connects into these other nodes like the design system node and the photography guidelines and the website builder prompt as well and this is also going to give us a prompt to build our website in a tool like lovable or replit so we can just take this to replit and actually build our website from a prompt that's just generated here when i click one button which is run workflow which is pretty crazy um so let's find some images that we can use here so I have just gone to Dribble, which is my kind of go-to for like image references. And I'm going to pick like a brand identity that I like. So let's go with this one because I think it would be cool to like be able to maybe have some visuals or like animate this kind of character design here. Um, and also I think this is going to work really well. This is kind of like a fictitious coffee cup brand identity, like coffee brand identity here. So let's create a coffee brand. So let's go back over to Crea. Um, I'm going to go into this one. We'll paste our image. 
a base art image in here. Actually, that's added a new node, so let's just drag that in here and connect that up. Um, so that's connected to there. So that's got that image going to this brand strategy generator. I'm also going to tweak this prompt a little bit here. So it says generate a comprehensive brand strategy outline for the following company um, using the attached reference image following the style of the attached reference image. So I'm going to go over to ChatGPT and I'm just going to generate a quick um, company. So let's make a fictitious company. So let's create a, a name and tagline for a fictitious coffee company, coffee company. So it's just going to give us something pretty generic here. Um, so what we're going to do, what we've got, Morning Nook Roasters, Northline Coffee, Slate Roasters, Bean Theory. I like Bean Theory. It's kind of fun. Um, let's do that. Let's do Bean Theory as our brand. Great coffee down to a science. So that can be our company. So let's close that. So I stop going back to that. Let's add our company. Our company is a coffee company called Bean Theory, which sells coffee in in the UK in the UK ground coffee, which sells ground coffee in the UK. So there we go. We've got our company name and description. We've got it connected up to all of these nodes. Now all we're going to do is basically click run workflow on this. And this is going to connect into everything here. And it's going to generate all of our assets for us. So let's click run, run workflow and see what this does. So you can see this working through nodes here. So this is generating our brand strategy outline for Bean Theory. Once that's complete, so we're going to see this going into all of these other nodes here. Once this has generated, you can see this is generating brand strategy guidelines. So color palette, bright and vibrant colors to evoke joy, eye-catching designs. This is now going into our other nodes here. So we're now generating our color palette here. We're also generating our icons. We're generating our logo. And we're also generating our photography guidelines here as well. So here we go, we have our color palette that's been created. Sunshine yellow, lively coral, adventure teal, a playful twist on quality coffee. Let's have a look what else we've got generating here. So we're also generating our design system, which has a, which is basically a JSON schema that we can use for all of our kind of visual design. This has a description of, we could make this into like a UI design system instead, but this is something that we could use across. There we go. We've got, so we've got like color palette here, um, the names and the hex codes of all the colors. Also generating our icons for our brand identity here. Create a set of icons I could use for a company with the following brand guidelines. We've got our company, our logo here. We've also got the background removed version, which is not great. You can see now that this automation has generated everything we need. Well, you might need some other stuff as well, but it's generated pretty much everything we need to basically kind of launch this company. We've got our brand reference. It hasn't matched that like amazingly, but we can always tweak these prompts. It's kind of taken that playful angle. It's generated us a a prompt here, which I'm actually going to tweak a little bit um, to build a website with something like Lovable or Bolt or Replit. We've got a color palette here as well. We've got a logo here as well. I've actually just updated this to connect this to the photography guidelines above as well so that this would actually generate using that logo on that image. But you see it's generated an image using Nano Banana Pro um, following the following the photography guidelines that are generated here. So playful and fun, vibrant and li lively. Here's the color palette. This is the same color palette that it's pulled from that we've generated before as well. And we've got a video generated of this as well here, which you can see people pouring coffee you could legitimately use this asset for this company. The potential for creative automations here is massive. What you can also do with this is you can export this and that will give you a CREA file. If I go back here and I create a new workflow and then drag and drop this CREA file into this window, 
that just creates a, a new file with the exact same workflow in. So you can export this and add this in in the exact same way as you're used to doing if you're doing this with NAN. So now, uh, before we finish up here, I'm actually just going to do another brand identity with some of these updated nodes to see how well this does. And let's go for something a little bit more exciting than coffee. Let's go for like a brand identity for like an outdoor company or like an adventure kind of like something, some sort of company here that's like outdoors or like has a bit of has a bit of edge to it so maybe like extreme sports brand identity let's have a look at this let's go for this and let's do let's do like a paddle um, brand not super exciting um, but maybe a little bit more exciting I and mean, we can get some interesting video and action shots from this so let's go back to Korea I'm going to paste this image into Korea let's delete this node here let's move this here connect it up again add in our company so let's just create a new chat and chat GPT let's say give me a name and description for a paddle company so this is just going to give us some name options for a paddle company. So Vertigo Paddle, Azul Court, um, Pulse Paddle Works, Arena Paddle Supply. Let's go, let's go more playful and fun. Paddle Pop. So I like that. Let's do that. Let's do Paddle Pop. So here we go. Um, our company is called Paddle Pop and is a paddle um, equipment company that runs clubs and events globally to spread the word about paddle. So now let's just click run workflow and we're going to see this entire workflow go again create our brand strategy here. So we've got our brand strategy for Paddle Pop. So sports equipment to popularize paddle, vibrant, dynamic, bright and striking color palette, neon green, electric blue, which is following our reference, players looking for community, um, positioning strategy, brand voice and messaging, marketing and communication, uh, brand experience, measurement and evaluation, future growth and expansion. We've got our full brand strategy there. This is now generating our color palette and this is now generating iconography and also generating a logo. And that's going to go through and animate those, create some photography for us and also generate a color palette. So let's see what it comes back with. So we now have our full paddle brand identity all automated from this one automation. Now this is like a very early version of this automation that I've created. So there is some little weird things going on here, but hopefully this shows the power of creative automation tools to create things like full brand identities just from running one single automation workflow and going through all of these different nodes through image generation to video generation to generating guidelines, all of that. So what we've got here is basically we've got our brand strategy guidelines here from this node. We've got our design system JSON schema here, which we can basically copy and use in any coding tool to kind of follow the style for this brand based on the color palette that we generated. We've got a prompt here to generate this website um, in something like Lovable or Replit. In fact, I'm going to put this into, let's copy this over and put this into Replit and actually see what we get back. So let's go to Replit, paste this into design and then start designing this. With Replit, we're going to see what that brings back. But we've got a prompt there to generate the website for our business. We've also got our color palette down here. We've got our icons and our logo. So we've got a, a company logo here. Um, we've got our iconography for our company here, as well as a more detailed icon here. We've also got photography guidelines here for our business. And we've got an image generated using those photography guidelines, which you can see here if we look at that bigger, which is pretty good. That's generated with Nano Banana 2. Um, and then we've got a video here as well, which is generated with Nano Banana. It's not the best video, but you can kind of see 
what it's going for here. Um, taking these assets and creating videos from that photography that you've generated for your brand with your brand logo, assets, colors in, all of that stuff. We've also animated this icon here, which you could see being used in ads, social media posts, that sort of thing. And we've also created an animation and also light and dark versions of our logos down here as well. So there's an animated version of the logo that you could definitely see being used um, in different campaigns. And that is our full brand identity for our paddle company. And so yes, it needs some tweaking. It's not the best brand identity you've ever seen in the world, but it does show the power of these creative AI automation workflow tools like Crea Nodes and like others that you've got in this space as well. Free Pick Spaces, Weavy and Flora are all great options here as well. And one thing that's going to be incredible once it releases here is going to be the API. They, they have like um, the wait list now. So you can sign up for early access here. But when you have um, the API for this, I can imagine being able to uh, trigger creative workflows using a webhook um, in an application and then being able to create like a product on a website where you could pay for a brand identity that would go through this full automation for a one-off price and then you get all of the assets kind of generated for you in that app. I think this is going to be a hugely powerful way that people use AI tools like this in 2026. So it's great to start learning these now. And if you go over to Replit, you can see it's created this website for us, this landing page. It does have things like um, equipment here. I mean, it's followed the guidelines. It's also generated a bunch of images that it's used on the website. So we could tweak this. This isn't the best design in the world, but it just shows you how we can create all of these assets just from one automation, one prompt and all of this generated stuff. And you also had the benefit of having all of the brand strategy and everything there as well. So you can see the power of creative AI automation tools, and you can see the power of these tools to do things like build complete brands, create entire marketing campaigns, all from just single automations. And once API access is given to these tools, you'll be able to create applications that trigger these workflows behind the scenes in the same way that AI automation specialists do with NAN. And this is gonna unlock a huge amount of creative application ideas and a huge amount of value for so many people building apps or just working with AI creatively. Using these tools is a massive time saver and experimenting with setting up stuff like this can really show you the power of creating creative AI workflows that can solve problems and help you save time and also help you build an entire business from scratch. You could even use it to build you could even use it to design a complete brand identity for an app that you're working on. And if you are building an app with AI, I've got a community helping people do just that. We've got over 200 members and inside the community, you'll learn everything that you need to, to build and launch an application with AI. And you can head over to school.com forward slash AI apps to find out more. If you like the video, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Build great products. Build great products.